Hi, this is Andrew with the chopping block. AR500Armor.com was kind enough to donate some armor for testing. They're real big on independent testing and social media. I appreciate that. So, in return for their kindness, I'm going to try to poke some holes in it. We're going to shoot it with some Winchester 45 grain varmint out of a 20 inch barrel. And this drastically exceeds the velocity rating that this is supposed to protect from. So let's see what happens. If you watch carefully on these high speed shots, you can actually see the projectile exit the back of the water jug. See some bullet fragments. This looks like maybe the base projectile. So because that was a complete pass through, we're going to try it with a shorter barrel. Let's go with an 18 inch barrel first. A 16 inch barrel. This impact was a little close to the 18 inch hole, so I decided to shoot it again with the 16 inch. Watch the jet of material being ejected from the rear of the plate. Exact same velocity. Weird. Still getting complete pass through, so let's try a 14 and a half inch barrel. Watch for the flash when the bullet impacts. It's still zipping right through. The next shortest barrel length I have is 11 and a half inch. The bullet has stopped this time, so pay particular attention to what the fragments do to the water jug on the right. It took off a little bit of the coating here. Nothing came through. But the fragments, a good piece of this jug here. See all the way down. Okay, so I want to stress that what we did to this plate is way beyond what it's intended to stop. This is what it's intended to stop. 7.62 NATO, M80 ball, 147 grain full metal jacket. Now, I know that some of you, I'm looking at you, ARFCOM GD, now some of you are going to say, oh, it's this crappy plate that won't stop anything, which is why I waited until after we perforated the plate several times with what it's not rated for to hit it with what it is rated for. Well, <laughs> let's take a look.
fairly decent dimple in there. If I get the light right, you can probably see the, the dent there. These are all the 223 rounds. That's the 11 and a half inch 223. And these are the 2762 rounds. If we look at the other side of it, we can see, if we get the angle, the light right, we can see a couple little dents here. But that's what it's designed to do. So like I said, the armor was provided by AR500armor.com. It's a level three AR500 plate rated for 7.62 NATO. It'll stop 7.62 by 39. Most 5.56, but not M193 at close enough. The um, Winchester Varmint ammo was provided by Arizona Expert Arms. I'll put links to both companies in the description. Thanks for watching.